what's going on everybody january flowers are your favorite homegirl and if you're seeing me then you know it's time to get into that academy tea honey yes we are up to episode six and this episode is all about showing off we got tears fist and more the academy galore yes if you are new to the channel welcome if you are returning to the channel welcome back poo you know what I noticed with the Academy? These girls definitely do the best they can with what they got. I'm so happy I tuned in. The Academy is filled with emotionals, ups and downs, and brawls, honey. When I tell you this episode started straight out the gate with LaRue versus Shaba. I'm going to tell you something. The last recap, I definitely thought that, you know, LaRue was going to show, show me something. But Shaba definitely woke me up when it came to this situation. Shaba definitely showed off and definitely threw hands when hands were needed to be thrown. LaRue definitely didn't back down, but Rue, you definitely connected and to me, once Shaba got into those stairs, that's when it was a definite, you know what I'm saying? I had to go ahead and give it to Shaba because once she managed to get you down, LaRue was standing up at one point. They was going back and forth. But when Shaba managed to get Rue on those stairs, and you wanted to protect your head, she went in. You know what I'm talking about? It. She went in. I mean, it is what it is. Still Team Rue and still Team Shaba. I like both of the girls. You know, it is what it is. In this episode, we see the second half of the girls go to interview with Sapphire. LaRue talks with Sapphire. Of course, this was before the brawl happened about her childhood growing up in a system and being a middle child. She felt like being a middle child as soon as she was born, she had to grow up. You know what I'm saying? She felt like it wasn't a moment where she got to be a kid she said as soon as she was in a known she was an adult she had to care for herself and her younger brother and she said she also grew up in a system so LaRue is going through a lot but she said it's changed her into the person she is now so Lucky came into the room drunk and she seemed more interested in um, Sapphire's ruler than she did the interview because Sapphire said she was going to take out her ruler and wop wop. Where my ruler at? So I can show y'all. Take the ruler out and wop wop. This ruler kind of flimsy y'all. Y'all see this one? This a flimsy ruler y'all. <laughs> Jess and Jess is in the room talking about being a child of an immigrant and basically how her parents didn't pay her any attention or neglected her now Jess is a real one she talks about going through traumas about how you know in Philly they basically deported her father you know I believe she said at the age of 12 he was deported and she was angry at first Jess I completely understand your story and I'm glad that you're speaking out about it so Jess I like that you spoke on that so next up we have P form she spoke on not being a good listener and not listening to her managers at work and having issues with authority figures so Sapphire said it's possibility that she could help her with that. Naj turns, she goes into there and she speaks on her childhood. That's what Sapphire has been asking the girls. She's been asking the girls all the same questions, honestly. But when Naj goes in there, she says that um, her childhood was actually good. You know, it was kind of sheltered. When she got out into the world, she was kind of rambunctious. You know what I'm saying? When she stopped not caring what, what people thought, Naj says she grew up kind of wild. And she said that I guess she wants to be an example for girls coming up that even though you started one way doesn't mean you have to be another way and she came from shelter while and now she's trying to get herself back together again so Naj had a good reason for being in a competition ET now ET actually got to me in this scene because when she was talking to Sapphire you can see that she was extremely defensive she was trying to be extremely defensive in the beginning with Sapphire but Sapphire broke down those walls that she had up and she was just like ET you know you're not really saying much you you're definitely in this competition I mean are you here for your kids or you know you know you got your little ones that's when she started breaking down crying and her confessional she said that she went through a lot growing up she went from her dad her aunt her cousin her mom and it was just like a rotation so Sapphire was like well how did you feel about growing up like that being rotated around but I felt like I was in control so Sapphire was like okay which that example made no sense right y'all gotta keep listening she said she was moved around from house to house but she felt completely in control keep listening y'all what does that feel like not trusting anyone or not anyone to trust for that's when et started breaking down y'all she was like she don't like crying she said when she cries she cries alone in her bathroom she don't like to cry around people she has to be tough she has to be in control that's what she said and et i get it 
and et you feel like that because you were moved around so much so i understand this hardened exterior as if no one can break through things like that which i understand they didn't hurt all of us pool but at the end of the day you'll find that circle of trust you know what i'm saying hopefully you do down the road you know so next up we have abby and abby goes in and talks with sapphire so sapphire wants to know about her upbringing she speaks on growing up with her grandmother and she really enjoyed that when her grandmother passed she was forced to live with her mom and she said her mom wasn't a mother at all when i was listening to abby i understood something about abby you guys notice how abby dresses and it's not to say that it's good or bad, but it's very gaudy. And I have a feeling, even without seeing a picture of Abby's grandmother, I really want to think in my mind, I could be completely off with this, that that's where it came from. Even when I noticed Abby on Deja Vu House, I was like, it's like, why does she like it's like a big band of pearls and stuff and she overloads it. The outfit will be simple, but it's like the accessories are overloaded. And you know what it gives me? You know when you have a jewelry box that you, you sit out and you got your little cousin and niece. For me, I don't have kids. So, like, little cousins and niece, and they want to play in your jewelry box or your smell goods, perfumes, and things like that. And they put it on, but for you, it's perfect size, but for them, it's oversized. In my mind, I'm thinking that's Abby's way of remember her grandmother if that's where the gaudiness came from if not her mom i feel like it came from one of them because we are the example of those who came before us and it's the truth i really do feel like that's abby's connection but when abby said that with a straight face no self-worth and things like that and abby said something else y'all that i did not forget and i thought i was gonna forget and i just remembered she said i don't have my bag she said, I'm still looking for my own bag and I feel you, Abby. Because so many people think just because you got on TV or this and that that you already have your bag. And Abby, hopefully you get to it, honey. Bella, she is the newest girl to join the house. She does speak to Sapphire about wanting to be a good mom and wanting more opportunities. And Sapphire said that she's happy that she got to speak to her. Sapphire seemed really excited to see Bella. I don't know much of Sister Bells, but I will say this. Sapphire, what you said in your confessional, I feel like was a dig at Jocelyn, but it was appropriate. When um, Sapphire said that she's here to give these girls opportunities, she also stressed not turning her back on them. So I think that was a direct deal at Jocelyn because Jocelyn definitely did that when Sapphire was at her lowest point she just went through a tragedy a loss and Jocelyn definitely turned her back on her so y'all let's get to the meat and the potatoes Lucky versus Shava Shava was drunk this is after the LaRue brawl so mind you her and LaRue just had got into it she went straight in the house and said Lucky Lucky I guess her and Lucky had beef I didn't even know they had beef Lucky put on her shoes, ran right downstairs. They started rolling, y'all. When I tell y'all four or five rounds, boom, boom, boom. Four or five rounds to the point they started downstairs. Y'all, how they end up upstairs, child? Boom, boom, boom. What I'm going to say, though, is big, big shopper. Not the little one. Big shopper. Shopper was showing off. But Lucky, you ain't no one who give up. I tell you that Lucky wanted to keep going even when queen d poor shaba upstairs y'all four or five rounds could be six by looking at next week the girl's still going y'all when shaba just came in the house and said lucky like that and lucky hair shoes on her and went right down i'm like ah. if y'all not gonna explain it i'm not gonna wonder the show didn't give me any behind the scenes tea but i have to say this one scene was hilarious though when they was downstairs brawling we see <laughs> We see this white cloak float off the room, and it's LaRue, y'all. LaRue is standing at the top of the stairs staring at these girls. What y'all down there doing? What y'all down there showing off about LaRue? I hope something. I like LaRue. It's something about Rue. I'm going to tell y'all, all right, since we on episode six, kind of like mid-season thoughts, I'm going to tell you my thoughts, because that's basically the end of the episode. It ends with Shaba and Lucky keep going boom, boom, boom. We get a glimpse at next week. Next week, we see that heaven wants her lick back from Moni and Lacey honey I don't know how that's gonna turn out and we getting more rounds with Shaba and Lucky now mind you the security was able to to calm Lucky down a little bit but Lucky wants to get her lick back the way this episode ended she wants to get her lick back I can just tell now who do I like so far on the show I have to say Lacey LaRue 
Shaba, Jess, yes, Jess should have been first. Jess, Larue, Lacey, who else? Well, that's all I can think about off top because I don't have the whole cast in front of me. But you guys, let me know what you think about the Academy thus far. Those who have watched, those who are watching now, let me know what you think and stay locked to the channel. Let me know your thoughts and remember this: do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.